Howdy folks and welcome back to the Nature Photography Show. In this video we're going to talk about using virtual copies in Lightroom Classic. Before we talk about virtual copies, I want to talk about what it is that Lightroom Classic does to the original photograph, whether it's a RAW file or a JPEG or a PSD or a PNG or whatever it is that you're working with, it actually does nothing to that file. It's non-destructive editing, and what does that mean? That means it creates a sidecar file that attaches to the original, and it's a series of instructions that the computer says, okay, this is how that individual wants to finish the original image. So that's a sidecar file. A virtual copy effectively creates an additional sidecar file, points to that image and says, this is how they want to finish the image. And you can create multiple sidecar files, multiple virtual files that continuously point back to that original. It'll also point back to any of those others that you want. If you've got a, a virtual copy that you really like, but you want to change it up a little bit, you can create a copy of that one. Now you've got a virtual copy that points to that, but it all points back to that original file and says this is how the individual wants to edit the photograph. And what's really cool about that is it takes up almost no additional space on your hard drive. So you, now you've got a huge image that you can have multiple edits of that take up little to no additional space. And that is extremely useful. It's good to help develop your style. It's good to see it different ways. Maybe you like color, black and white. It's, it's good to be able to provide all of these images to a client, for example, and, and say which one of these do you like? There's a lot of use cases for the virtual copies. So we're going to head over into Lightroom and we're going to see how to do that. And you'll get to see a few edits as I quickly go through and, and you'll see the benefit of the virtual copies. Let's take a look at how to use virtual copies in Lightroom. So as you can see right now, I'm in the develop module and I've got three images chosen here that we're going to work with. The first one I took in Death Valley of the sand dunes and I want to see what this looks like in black and white. So I'm happy with the way that I have it finished right now, but using virtual copies, I can take a look at different finishing methods and compare them all in the end to see which one I like. Maybe it's something I can use to develop my style. Maybe it's something that I can use just to mess around with and see what I like and what I don't like. So right now I'm going to go down to the image down here on the lower left. We're going to right click on it and we're going to have create virtual copy. Now we're going to create that and it's just going to put a second image which is exactly like the image here. It's a copy, but right here you can see the little folded corner. That tells you that it's a copy. And so we can do anything we want to this. I want to turn it to black and white. I tend to like contrasty black and white, so we're going to turn up the contrast. We're going to do the whites and the blacks uh, and just to see what we can do with it, what kind of craziness we can come up with to see what we like or don't like. I think it's a little bright now, so we're going to darken it just a little bit, give it a little bit of mood. We're going to up the clarity, and then we're going to go down and we're going to add a post-crop vignette, and darken those edges, and now we have two edits of the exact same image. Well, what if I decide I want to try adding a different tone to this black and white, but I like the way the black and white is right now? Well, I can go down to this copy, I can right click, and I can say virtual copy. And it gives me another copy of the one that I just edited. So now I can go into this and I can say color grading. We're going to add a little bit of odd color to it just to see what we happen to like. That's kind of neat. Uh, so yeah, let's look at that. So now in a matter of a few moments, we've gone from how we have it finished to a black and white version to a weird sepia version. And which one of those do you like? Well, that's up to you. And that's the cool part about these virtual copies is that you can do so many different things with photos that you like that you've already finished and you can see different ways to look at it and it can help you develop your style or maybe 
give you somewhere to go that you didn't know that you could go. So here we're going to do another one, virtual copy. First thing we're going to do is turn it to black and white, basic black and white. We're going to do the same thing, add some clarity. We've got some blacks. We're going to do a little bit more, a little bit more on the highlights. Make sure we don't blow anything out. More clarity. And this time for a post crop vignette, we're going to go here. We're going to say radial gradient. And we're going to make it huge like this here. Put it right in the middle. And then we're going to invert. And now we're going to darken those edges a little bit more. There we go. And there we go. So now we have this original and a black and white version. And again, you can take the black and white if you want and go to another virtual copy. You can take the original, go to a virtual copy. You can just keep doing this as much as you want. And as a reminder, these take up little to no space on your hard drive. So you have different ways to edit the photograph, different ways to finish it, but you're not taking up any additional space. And that is pretty cool. Here's another one. This one I took at Dinner Island Ranch in Florida. We're going to create a virtual copy. And on this one, yep, you guessed it. We're going to turn it to black and white. And I don't, I, th I think it's too bright. So we're going to darken a little bit. We're going to add the whites. That way that really shows up and add the blacks. Now we get a nice contrasty image. We're going to say, give me a brush. We're going to go over the clouds because I want those things to be nice and crisp and dark and moody. So we're going to do the clouds and we're going to add some clarity to it. And there we go. Some nice localized adjustments there. And we have too much brightness down here, but I think that can be taken care of with a darkening the edges. So we can go and add right here. We're going to add a gradient, just like we did on the other image. We're going to make it really big, put it in the middle, invert. And now we're going to darken those edges and look at that. So in a matter of a few moments, we've gone from our original to a nice moody black and white. And which one do you like? I like both. And you can have both. It's that easy. And that is how you use virtual copies. So do you think you'll be adding this to your digital workflow? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, grab your camera, get off the couch, escape, explore, and create.